Hey, what's up, Beat Hackers? In this week's video, we're going to talk about something that stops so many DJs and new music producers getting into creating their own remixes and mashups, and that's writing chords. So, in this week's video, I want to show you how easy it can be to basically hack your way to writing chords really easily. Let's do it. Boof. Okay guys, so let's get straight into it. I'm going to assume you know nothing about writing chords, you know nothing about music theory at all, okay? And what we've decided is we want to go and do a remix of Calvin Harris's song, Feel So Close. So the first thing I'm going to do is literally go to Google and type in chords for Feel So Close To You, Calvin Harris, okay? Spelled wrong. Just bring it and you'll open up a tab. It's like a guitar tab, something like that, which will tell you what the chords are, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is go, feel so close to you, BPM and key. We wanna find out what the speed and the key of the track is. We click on this here and we can see if we go to here, it's 128 and it's G major. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into Ableton. We're gonna create a clip like this. Let's just go and create a clip. Just put a clip in like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a scale so we are only hitting keys that are in the G major scale. Really awesome hack for this is all you gotta know is the A minor scale or the C major scale, because it's all the white keys. We know this is G major, so what we're gonna do is gonna pick the C major scale and then we're gonna shift that scale into G, okay? This I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. I'm just gonna go here, and I'm just gonna draw in all the white keys for C, like this. And then we're gonna duplicate it out. Okay, so we just wrote in all the keys there, all the white keys, which is C major. If I was to fold them now, all you'd have is all the white keys. But this is C and we wanna move it into G. So we're just gonna select all and we're gonna move this down to G, like that. Then we fold them all the way and this is the G major scale. So I can select them all and just hit like left on my arrow keys and it moves them out of the way. Okay, so now we've got rid of all the keys. All we're left with is the notes in the G major scale. So we're gonna come back and find out what the chords are. A, E, G, C. Let's go and put these in. A, E, uh, E, G, C, like this, okay? These are the notes. So what we're gonna do is just gonna put these on every bar. So A, E, G, C, like this. We're gonna make them legato, which means they stretch the whole way, so like this. And we're gonna now make these into chords by selecting them all and moving them up two and then moving them up two. And these will be the chords in the G major scale that apply to the A, E, G, and C. So if you play it now, it should sound a little like this. Which is awesome. Those are the chords we've now taken from Calvin Harris's song, which we could now either go and use to make a remix of the song or completely use in a completely different song. No one's ever gonna know that those are the chords from Calvin Harris's song. Now, what I've done here is I've gone and got the a cappella for this Calvin Harris song to show you how it does fit. If you wait till the end of this video, I'll link to another video where I'll show you how you can go and get these a cappellas. Um, and let's have a quick listen to it. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. There we go. Now, if you want those chords to sound bigger, a really cool tip is you just get the bass note or the bottom note here, and you can just drag it down to the lower uh, uh, octave. So if this is A, you drag it down to A, um, and it's just one octave lower. And you can do the same thing again, drag a bit all and drag it down to A again. You'll notice the chords now sound a lot bigger. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. How awesome is that? And actually, look, guys, while I got you there, I'm actually going to just show you how easy it can be to begin to build this into a fuller track or a bit of a remix. So look, first things first, I'm just gonna go and grab a kick. So I'm gonna grab a kick and just drag it onto this lane here. I'm gonna go in and create a clip like this. Let me just go in and go to insert MIDI clip. And I'm just gonna go and find a kick sample that I quite like the sound of. So let's turn this on so we can hear. Like that, that'll probably do. I'm gonna put a kick on every quarter note like this. 
And if I just drag this down, we can see it now has a kick. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. Pretty cool. Now we may want to add a bit of bass in there. So I'll show you how I'd use these chords. I duplicate this lane here. So we've got the piano chords again. I get rid of everything but the bass notes, okay? So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of these down here like this and just keep those bass notes. Next thing I'm going to do is go and grab a synthesizer and we're going to go and pick a bass patch. So I'm going to go and grab a synth. Um, I'm actually going to grab a uh, Nexus just because I know I can find a synth, uh, like a bass patch quicker. Drag it on like this. Um, and just because I know these bass patches quite well, I know there's probably a bass. Let's go and have a quick look. Neverland bass is quite good, so we're just going to select that. That bass sounds a little bit like this. Okay, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to create an offbeat bass. So I'm going to put a, a bass sound on kind of every other kick drum. So it's just going to be like this. If I was to play the kick and the bass together, you'd hear this. Pretty cool. Let's just drag that down to here. And we're just, dupe, just keeping it to the same notes as what we had before. So let's just drag this down to here like this. Cool, so we now got this. And if we played that with the chords and the acapella, you've got something that sounds a bit like this. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. Really cool. And before you know it, you've got the basics of a song coming. But hopefully what this video has shown you is how easy it is to go and just draw in these chords. The main thing you have to remember is C major. So if it's a major scale, it's all the notes on the white notes on the keyboard going up from C. And then you grab that C note at the bottom and you move it to whatever um, whatever uh, key it is. So if it's G, you move it from C to G and you move them all down. Then you fold the notes away. If it's a minor scale, you'd go from A and you draw all the white notes and you'd move it around. Then you just go to something like a tab thing like this, take those chords, draw them in, and before you know it, you've got the basis of a song, which is also awesome, because like I said at the beginning, if you take away those chords, you can now go and create a completely different song off the back of this if you wanted to, which has this kind of intro. And it should work. So hopefully, guys, this has demystified how easy it can be to write in chords if you know nothing about writing in chords. Hope it's helped. If it has, and you're interested in learning more about stuff like this, I suggest you go and check out my EDM coaching program. There's a link directly below this video. I'm currently doing some free training that's teaching people all about how you can go from not knowing anything about music and use a series of techniques like this where you can basically build up full professional tracks that are as good as your favorite music out there. So if this kind of stuff interests you, make sure you click that link below and go and check out that free live training. Finally guys, if you've liked this video and you want to see more hacks like this, make sure you subscribe to this video by hitting that button there. Hit the bell notification so you get told about future videos. Also, if you want to go and check out EDM Coaching, hit that button down there. And finally, if you want to learn about how you can get acapellas like this, hit the link below now. See you guys in next week's video. Ciao. Boof.